going to select forms and we're going to create one from scratch. There's several templates here. And what I'm going to do is create a real simple form to use when you go to the Bunny Barn. This is what I use all the time. Oh my gosh. Um, I can just with a click on my phone, add a few notes and save it to a spreadsheet up in the cloud and I can retrieve it anytime and add it at my leisure when I sit down at my real computer and add it to my Evans software. So click on blank form and they have this little cute color here, but we'll keep that there for right now. We're just going to create some uh, questions. The first thing I'm going to do is call it the bunny chore form and click anywhere else and oh look at that it automatically put that up there and if you want depending on what form you're creating underneath form description you can type anything you want but for me i'm just going to leave that blank i really don't need that now with my form that i used on my home page for uh, prospective angora buyers i do have a lengthy uh, description describes my uh, application process anyway just depends on what you want to use it for so this first question here we go multiple choice what's the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to want to enter the date yep so the question title will be date. And then I'm going to add another question down here. And the next thing is going to be a short answer because I'm just going to type in the rabbit's tattoo. Now, because I'm uh, lazy or uh, efficient or both, we're going to click the duplicate because the next thing I'm going to enter is the rabbit's weight. Almost always I weigh my giants every time I put them on my grooming table. So short answer, we copied it so we don't want that. Yep. And okay, so the date, the tattoo, the weight. Um, the next one I'm going to have, oh, let's do a paragraph because this will be where I put all my notes. Pretty much everything. Um, is he a digger? Did he break a toenail? Does he need cheered soon? You know, anything. Did he get any medications, Ivomac or whatever? I can make a note in here. And then I do a lot of shearing, so I want to use this for my shearing records too. And I track prime seconds and thirds. And here, this is going to be a short answer because I'm just going to weigh it. And I'm going to duplicate that question. And write seconds. Oops, I forgot to copy it. Oh, well. <laughs> Thirds. We're going to make this a short answer. Okay, and also just FYI, in the bottom here, of course that's duplicate, delete. If, you, if I change my mind, I don't want that question, I can delete it, or I can make it required. Um, if you're making forms um, for whatever purpose, they have to fill this out before they go on. But, you know, it's just me and I don't always share. And I'm not going to make any of these required, it's just for me. Off to the side, this is the add question. So if I have more questions I want to put in here, I can just click a little add. Import questions, uh, add titles, descriptions, add an image, add a video, add a section. We're not going to do anything for this. Nope, it's just fine. But up here in this little palette, color palette icon, I want to change and add a header photo and it'll put a photo right up here on top so whatever photo you want to use i'm going to choose they have little descriptions of automatic uh, categories that's fun oh this is a fun party one 
I'm going to insert that. You can also insert to your own image, but keep in mind it's going to be short and long. <laughs> and I put in rabbit photos before, and yeah, there wasn't much of a rabbit in that picture because of the the size of the thing. So keep that in mind if you want to import your own. Oh, and look at this. They changed the color on me automatically. I like purple. And there's purple in here. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to work. I'm okay with the text. So that's all good. I'm going to close that out. Okay. These tabs up here. See how this is underlined? I'm in the question tab. I'm all done with my questions. Yep. Yep responses. This is where I'm going to link up a Google spreadsheet. This is the magic, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. If I have an existing spreadsheet, I can click that, but I'm going to make a brand new one. This is all I want in this spreadsheet. And I can just delete that. So it's going to be called Bunny Chore Form. Create. Yep. And here we go. This is my spreadsheet. It's automatically linked to my form. Anytime I fill out the form, it's going to add this information here. I'm done with this. It's pretty cool. I'll put all the questions across the top. So as it populates, it's going to fill all automatically down here. Oh, one thing I forgot. Oh, yeah, this is, see, every day I'm learning something. We put in that question for date. We don't need it because it has a timestamp <laughs> automatically. Okay, well, I won't get the date in my form twice. That's all right. I can delete that if I wanted to. Let's go back to questions. I'm going to activate this square. And we're going to hit the little delete key. So the first question in my form will be tattoo. Now let's go back to my responses and view sheets. Let's see if it deleted. Nope, it actually kept that column. But now that I know it's not going to be used. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, delete column. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. If I didn't manually delete that column, it would just always be blank. Um, and just FYI, if you start to fill out your form with some data, you probably don't want to mess with deleting a column in here. Just just leave it. Anyway, here we go. I don't need that anymore. I'm back to my form. Click on this other tab, Settings. There's some stuff in here you can do. Make this a quiz. We don't need to. Responses, how it's collected and protected. Um, you can collect emails, limit to one response. What I do like, for me especially, and others like it too, allow response editing. I'm going to turn that on. Sometimes I'm like, oh, no, I want to fix that. That was wrong, or I changed my mind. I can do that. So that's all there is to that. Back to my questions. OK, we did the palette. Let's hit the preview. Let's see what it's going to look like. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So if I'm on my computer, this is what it's going to look like. I just fill it out, hit submit, and that information I put in there goes automatically to my spreadsheet. So let's, I think I can do this from here. Yay. What's the weight? Oh, let's say 14 pounds. He's a biggie. Oh, just playing around. I'm going to skip the sharing because we're not sharing. And I'm going to submit. Do I want to edit my response or submit another response? I want to submit another one. We're playing around here. Er is the tattoo number. Wait, seven. It's a baby. More. Boom, boom playing around. Yep, yep. I'm not going to share. Here we go. And we keep doing this all the time. And we're done. So I'm going to click this tab. We don't need it anymore. This goes back. Oh, look here. It says two responses. It's a, that pretty cool. Yep. 
I'm curious. Yeah, so I'm going to click on here. I want to view in sheets or I can view the summary right here. The question tells me how many responses or the individual responses. Well, I want to view it in sheets. I'm a data gal. I like it. Okay, looky here. Here's the date stamp and time, the tattoo, weight, all my notes. Yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, I'm done looking. Yep, yep. And another thing I wanted to show you, if you're done and you just want to get in here and look at your sheets, look under sheets in your Google menu. Oh, look what pops up here. Funny chore farm form. Mm -hmm. There it is again. So I can get to look at it either through the form menu or I can just go straight to Google Sheets. It's out there in the cloud, ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Anyway, uh, here in just a few minutes, I'm going to how to add the form icon to your phone on your, your homepage. Um, if you're like me, I don't always take a notepad or my computer to the rabbit barn, but I almost always have my phone with me. So if I decide at the last minute, oh, I'm going to take a look at this bunny and oh, I better write some notes down. And uh, I used to put it in my day planner. I was a day planner queen way back when, and I was make thorough notes and uh, yeah, I packed that everywhere with me. Well, one day I bumped it and it went in a bucket of water. <laughs> it was a disaster. Well, the beauty of it, if I do that to my phone, which, you know, that could happen too. Oh gosh, mm, I don't want to think about it. But if that did, this data that I'm putting in the Google Forms is up in the sky so I can access it anywhere, anytime I can get access to my Google account which is on my laptop, my new phone, if I destroyed my old one. And uh, yeah, so there you go. I'll show you here in just a jiffy on how to add it to your phone. <laughs> Pretty cool. Here we go. Just before we add it to our phone, this is a little uh, cheat sheet that I've used as I just send a messenger link to myself. Pretty snazzy. So anyway, I'm going to go back to my Google form and over here I'm going to open it up my bunny chore form and I'm going to hit send I could send it via email or I can send a link or I can uh, send an embeddable link uh, just what works easier for me is I'm just going to send me a link via my messenger. Look at this link. Oh my gosh, it's a mile long. I'm going to shorten it. Yeah, isn't that slick? Just by clicking in there. And then I'm going to copy. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go up into my Facebook account in my messenger. I'm going to find myself. This is just a, I don't know. There's probably an easier way. Tammy Vaughn, where are you? There you are. I'm going to go down here. Oh, you can see I've done this before. I was testing it out before I was making this video. Click in the little space where you normally type. And I want to do a control V. Control V as in Victor. And that'll paste that little link that I just copied. And I'm going to send it to myself. That's all there is to it. Here we go. I'm in my messenger. I'm going to click on myself. There's my brand new form. This is the one I played with earlier today. I'm going to open it up. This is so easy, you're not going to believe it. I'm going to click on the three dots up here. And it says open in Chrome. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the three dots again and scroll down here where it says add to home screen. Oh, my husband sent me something. 
Okay, it automatically said that it was bunny chores. I'm going to look at that again. Bunny chores, and that's just automatic. That's what kind of uh, symbol you get. I haven't figured out how to change that yet, but that's going to be on my phone. I'm going to hit add. Add. And it's all done. So, if I go down here, oh, look, I've done it twice. <laughs> but let's say I'm out at the bunny barn and I don't have my computer, I don't have my notes, but I'm going to look at this guy. I can pull that up really quick, and there's the date. Set. Tattoo number. What's his number? RRR. What's his weight? 14 pounds. God, he's going to be a fatty, isn't he? Hopefully I don't have him that fat. And if any notes. Oops, look. Good. I'm not going to pressure him today. That's all I'm going to do is just give him a little CNC. Looking good. I'm going to submit. There we go. Do I need to do another one? I can do as many as I want, and it's automatically going to be loaded in my spreadsheet. Pretty cool.